Hey there, OLPH Parish family. Lisa Slacker coming to you yet again, still from my home office. Um, as we approach the end of April, we wanted to connect with you and get you inspired for all things that are yet to come in the month of May. So five things you need to know in these coming days. First, our events here at OLPH in the month of May. We have a whole calendar of events coming up, our liturgical calendar, some special offerings, groups that are still getting together, which is so super wonderful. We are encouraged to know that our small group communities are meeting virtually. Our men's cornerstone is meeting on Saturday mornings virtually. Women's ministry just kicked off, behold, um, uh, a Visio Divina authoring of the Glorious Mysteries. And if you want to jump in next Sunday, there's room for you there. So stay connected with each other and stay connected with us as a parish. But coming up in the next couple of days, there's three key featured events that we wanted to bring to your attention. The first is Festival of Praise. This coming Friday night, May 1st, 7.30, live streamed on Facebook and on our home website webpage will be an hour of praise and worship before the Blessed Sacrament. Um, so festival praise this Friday night, 7.30. Introduction to the Catechism. Father Mike is going to offer five nights of teaching and daytime, two offerings beginning this coming Monday, May 4th at 10.30 in the morning and at 7 o'clock at night. Get yourself registered for the event, opportunity for a teaching on what is the church, who is God, um, liturgy and the Mass, and from those teachings, then a chance for questions and answers of Father Mike. If you can't make the sessions, they will be recorded and posted to our YouTube page. If you sign up for the 1030 session and the following week you need to go to the, the um, 7 o'clock session, that's fine. Can't make the first week, want to join in for the second week, that's fine too. We're flexible. So it's going to be a great teaching and we encourage you to uh, sign up and learn more about the Catechism. Next thing, distance learning. Yeah, the struggle is real. <laughs> and um, it's real, but there's a trinity in the struggle between you, your child, and with Jesus. And in that trinity, we were offering our first ever webinar. webinar. And we will have a panel of our um, OLPH Para staff representing teacher, administrator, um, pastoral care, and parent discussing what the struggle looks like in this moment and time of crisis education. So we are going to talk about the reality of the struggle. We're going to point you to hope and hopefully create a community amongst uh, each other. So get yourself signed up for that webinar. Those are just a few things that are coming up in the next couple of days. Again, our calendar is very rich. There's much that will be happening throughout the course of the month. And with that, we would like to remind you to visit our website and at our website of www.olphparish.org, you will find all things um, uh, featured events. As you visit that website and then scroll down, you will find everything coming up and then links for more detail. Number two, this coming Sunday, May 3rd, is Good Shepherd Sunday. Oh, Siri's trying to talk to me. <laughs> but in Good Shepherd Sunday, it's a chance not only to give thanks and um, honor to our priests, but it's also an opportunity to pray for vocations, pray for the calling to the priesthood, to, for brothers, for um, religious life, and sisters. So we will be posting special prayers of vocation, but we ask you to set, a time, set aside time this coming Sunday to pray for our priests, to pray for vocations, and to possibly give some um, thanks and encouragement, words and notes of thanks and encouragement to Father Mike and Father Rob. We have a couple surprises planned for them, which we're not going to share here, but when, when they happen, we'll share them with you. But our priests have been working so wonderfully for you. I, I don't want to say they've been working hard because they're doing it with such joy. So they've been working wonderfully for all of us to stay connected with the Lord and move us forward to deeper love for Him and love for neighbor. So this coming Sunday, Good Shepherd Sunday. The next Sunday is May 10th, May Crowning. If you've been with us as a parish last May, you'd remember that on the second Sunday of May, we give honor to Our Lady of Perpetual Help, to Mary. In our Rosary Garden is a beautiful statue of Mary. And after the 11 o'clock Mass, we leave from Mass singing, processing over to our garden, where we crown Mary and give her honor. So we will still be doing that, um, the priests and the deacons, they will still be doing that. And because we are one beautiful church praying and practicing virtually at this time, we're still in spiritual communion. So we're going to encourage you to participate at home. And in the coming days, our 
um, our teacher over the school, she's putting together a little teaching to have your kids potentially make some flowers. And if you have a statue at home or a picture of Mary or, or a, um, an image of Mary, perhaps you can also crown Mary in your home and pray along with us after Mass, 9 o'clock, May 10th, and then take a picture of your crowning of Mary at your home and share it with us on our Facebook page so that we can be together. Um, it was a beautiful way that we celebrated on Palm Sunday when people took pictures of how they decorated their doors with palms, and we want to do the same thing for May crowning. So that's May 10th. Number four, Thankful Thursday. Check out our Facebook page on Thursdays. Last Thursday, we gave thanks to you for all of the efforts and participation that has allowed for 1,000 sandwiches to be put together. Lunches provided this weekend, last weekend, and the weekend before, I think it was about 600. So what a beautiful contribution of, of giving. Um, and we wanted to say thank you for all the outreach that you're doing. We've had to restock. You have restocked our food pantry four times so far. So last weekend was Thankful Thursday and thanking you. This coming Thursday, we're going to be honoring and thanking all of our first responders in our parish. So stay tuned to our Facebook posts on Thursdays as we continue with Thankful Thursday. Number five, we are still praying and adoring our Lord Jesus Christ every day at our parish. So we wanted to remind you that daily mass is available every day but Thursday at 8.30 a.m. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 8.30 a.m. You can visit our parish website or Facebook page to participate in that live stream. On Thursdays until Memorial Day, we will be having our school mass at 9.30. Great chance for the kids to participate in liturgy um, explicitly for them, whether you're a school family or, or just a family with, with children at home with you at this time, great chance for Mass um, geared towards them. Then, Eucharistic Adoration in our chapel will be live streamed on Wednesdays and Thursdays from 12 to 3, and on Fridays from 5 to 8 p.m. So we just wanted to package up for you that liturgy schedule and let you know what was happening. So anyway, that's it. Five things you need to know as we're coming into the month of May. And we do want to also let you know that every day at 1030, the parish staff comes together and we're praying for you. We're praying for your intentions as you put them in the comments of our weekend masses, as you have mailed them to us um, through our, our, our main um, email or in our prayer petitions. We are praying for you and we miss you. We miss you. This is so really hard. Um, when you're away from your family members for an extended period of time, you grow, grow a deeper bond and love for them, and um, you long to be with them even more. So our hearts are breaking, and we love you terribly, and we miss you, and we cannot wait to be back together. So until we are back together, Our Lady of Perpetual Help, pray for us. Goodbye, and we love you. See you soon.